I've been trying to really be more grateful. Yeah. Just kind of a, a New Year's resolution for myself, just to really have a better outlook on life and really think about gratitude and and uh, seeing everything that's been happening and seeing just all of these images and, and video. It's just because it makes me grateful for for where I where we are in America, yeah. our our country, um, our the rights that are uh, that are being upheld in our country, and uh, it's it. That's that's pretty much what I have my biggest feeling because you see even from people in Russia protesting and knowing what's going to happen yeah. to them, to the families in Ukraine being displaced. It's it's just it's not a great situation. Yeah, so. we, we had a um, um, we had a really, I guess, unique staff meeting this morning. We it doesn't happen that often anymore where we have an event to really to really talk about rather than, you know, just sort of your standard updates and, you know, what, what's everybody doing? What are we trying to do? And all that kind of stuff. And this morning we ended up spending a, a good deal of time talking about the, the Russian attack on Ukraine. And um, we, we have an interesting organizational, like sort of, I don't know, just sort of it's sort of a, an interesting aspect of fee that most people don't realize is that our current president is Lithuanian. And I mean, and I mean, I would say not even a first generation immigrant. He is literally a Lithuanian citizen who is who is, uh, you know, here on effectively a work visa. Um, and um, and then several of our staff have, have and staff that we've had over the years have had really strong connections to that region. So. Um, Pavel, our, our producer, who I've, I've talked about, who's made minor appearances on various things we've done with Without a Frame, the podcast and stuff like that, is from Russia, um, born in Russia. And then, um, you know, other members of our staff are from Ukraine. Uh, and uh, our, our former, our current uh, director of external relations is, is from Ukraine. Her whole family is, is from there. Many of her family still lives there. Um, and also our our former director of uh, technology, actually, as well, um, uh, was from his family's from Ukraine. And and there are a lot of these stories that are pretty interesting, like um, David, our, our former director of technology. We used to talk about like speaking of gratitude, we used to talk about how when David was a small child, he lived in a a dugout shack, basically like a mud hut more or less with no running water or electricity that was that was the life that he was born into and so david always had a profound sense of gratitude for coming to the united states and being able to build the a, a very successful career as a computer programmer a, a you know a, a network engineer and like that's insane i mean like going from that environment to to this environment but one of the things we talked about this morning was the idea that like the problems that we face that we often complain about, you know, YouTube throttling and, um, you know, Facebook limiting our ability to run ads or, you know, just being criticized on the Internet or whatever, right, are just such minor issues in comparison to the kind of stuff mm -hmm. that you were just talking about, Paul. I mean... Um, being displaced from your home because somebody's got a tank outside your door or, you know, trying to protest a war, but risking being accused of treason and, and, you know, put in prison for the rest of your life or possibly executed. I mean, these are problems that I am super grateful. We don't generally speaking face in the United States. 